Hey, so Stroh Lines, and uh, I want to demonstrate a little thing I, I, I shouldn't say I figured out because uh, Maestrith had to work through it with me. He was puzzled too at the beginning. Um, it, was, it seemed very odd. So I was playing with uh, in Excel my command here, and I was getting the uh, the last row in a given column. <clears throat> and the thing is that the column number, it uses a column number instead of letter. So here, like two, if I run this and hit my hotkey, it says four because B4 is the last cell. And if I change this to a one, oops, one, and rerun it, it's going to say eight because D, or sorry, A8 is the last cell. That's all fine and good, but I don't want to remember column numbers, right? I want to use my letters. So I have in my auto hotkey uh, Excel library, um, I have a string to number conversion, right? And actually, if I run this, we're going to see here column equals one, right? So one would think if I put COL in here and run this, it'd be fine. Um, that's actually, that's the message box on row five. Let me, let me redo it and get rid of the message box just so it's clear. All right. So we're going to save it, run it. Now notice there's an error, right? So when this is put in, that was a number, right? When it's put it in, it, um, as a variable, it broke. But if I do this call equals one, let's comment this out just to keep it clear and rerun it. That works fine. And so this was it was really confusing to me of why in the world, even though this was a number, and I and I even did uh um I came back in here and said um is call integer and here we can put a message box. Um so this will only show up if it is, right? Um oh sorry, I need my if statement. If if call, I wrote it wrong, call is integer. There we go. If call is integer, message box call is an integer. So I'm going to save, save this, rerun it, run it. Now here it's saying that the, the value brought back from my string to number function it's seeing it as an integer. So I thought, okay, it's an integer. Um, you know what, let me comment this out because I would have broke it. Uh, well, it would have passed it. But now we're gonna be passing this. So one is an integer, it's here. Hey, that's an integer. Okay, great. The next one should work, right? And it didn't work. And that was what just really, really threw me was, how is it that auto hotkey says that's an integer and yet this doesn't work if it's really looking for a number. Um, and what it turned out to be is, is part of the things with is an integer, Apparently, it isn't actually looking at how it's stored. Um, it's looking at what is in the variable and telling you, oh, what's in the variable is an integer, not necessarily the type of variable. And so um, what what it turned out to be was this value here, if we, uh, if we add, in, and we add just anything, a plus zero, um, and we're going to save this, reload it, run it. Now, it's still an integer, but look what happens. Oh, look, we get row eight right is a thing um and that was because this forced we did some math on this when it was returned that forced it to say hey actually that's an that is a number store it as a number um and, and i still think this is a little wonky but it was really really confusing to me um and and thankfully like i said this here did not make sense of when it when it was apparently not an integer it still wasn't actually checking that um but this uh adding the plus zero takes care of it so that's what we work through if you're ever doing this and something isn't quite working right you might want to confirm add add zero to it or add a number make sure it actually is a number that you're playing with um it should have treated it like a number i think but it didn't so i thought that was a a, a very interesting thing to troubleshoot and document because i sure would have bet money that that was an integer it says this is an integer i don't know all right cheers